LIDAR, or Light Detection and Ranging. It uses lasers to measure the elevation of the ground and the things on it, like trees and even buildings. LIDAR data have many applications in earth and environmental sciences, from studying volcano growth, forest properties, hidden landforms, and even revealing ancient cities covered by forests. Much of the data used in earth science comes from airplane-mounted scanners, though they can be collected on the ground, by car, drone, helicopter, and even satellites. How is laser light actually used to measure distance? Scanners send out laser pulses and measure the time it takes for each one to bounce off the ground or other target and return to the sensor. Since we know the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second, that allows us to calculate the distance. Laser scanners fan the ground with tens of thousands to millions of pulses per second and an accuracy of 1 to 15 centimeters, depending on the platform. Ground-based LIDAR, called terrestrial laser scanning, operates in a similar way, but sends out pulses more horizontally, making it good for vertical features, like cliffs. It is also essential to know exactly where the airplane or ground-based scanner is located, and for that we use the Global Positioning System. With signals from four or more satellites collected at several stationary ground-based receivers and by the airborne receiver, we can determine the X, Y, and Z location as well as time uncertainty, precisely locating the scanner. Airborne systems also include inertial navigation instruments used to measure the orientation of the aircraft as it tips and rolls in air currents. A super useful aspect of LIDAR is that a single laser pulse does not just reflect off a single location, say the top of a tree. As with sunbeams shining through a forest, some parts of the laser pulse reflect off of leaves and branches, as well as the ground itself. In LIDAR lingo, we call the first reflection the first return. A single pulse might also bounce off of several intermediate spots. The last return is usually at or near the actual ground level. The image derived from the first returns gives us a surface model similar to what you see in an aerial photograph or satellite image, the top of the vegetation, buildings, and open ground. An image derived from the ground returns is used to make bare earth maps, even in areas of dense vegetation. Effectively, this allows scientists to digitally deforest the landscape and only show the ground beneath. Differencing the surface and bare earth models can yield information about things such as vegetation or building heights. Studying the intermediate returns helps determine vegetation density and cover. High resolution bare earth maps have opened up a wealth of science applications aided by the chance to visualize and map the landscape beneath the vegetation cover. This has allowed the detection of previously unknown features. For instance, Faults caused by earthquakes have now been discovered in many places they were not previously known, such as under the dense forests of Washington state. This can help scientists better understand earthquake hazards in a region. Similarly, landslides are much easier to identify with LIDAR bare earth data, providing invaluable information about potentially hazardous sites, because places near where landslides have occurred are often in danger of sliding again. LiDAR data have allowed archaeologists to map, in just a few days, more Mayan ruins and landscape modifications hidden in thick Central American jungles than decades of mapping by foot. Now, let's look at a river system to see dramatic changes over time. During a spring with heavy rains, this dam in Michigan was breached, releasing over 70 million cubic meters of water, destroying the dam. The before and after LiDAR images show exactly what happened. Where the floodwaters rushed out, we see two meters of downcutting and erosion. Some of the eroded sediment was then deposited downstream, partially blocking the older channel. These details help scientists and engineers better understand dam and river systems. Repeat images from before, during, and after eruptions at Mount St. Helens give scientists detailed understandings of how eruptions might proceed. LIDAR has opened up a wealth of ways to better measure Earth and environmental processes.